But in uh, obviously the game against Huddersfield at the weekend, how did you find that? Yeah, it was uh, it was good to get um, get out there with the boys and um, yeah, just just start getting back to a bit of uh, bit of contact and that. Really, we haven't done much, um, you know, due to to um, you know the COVID stuff and whatnot. So it was good just to get you know back in and try and get a mix, mix get mixed in with the boys and bit of contact. A couple of weeks to, to the first to round one, uh, is it beginning to can you feel it ramping up in training, and getting ready for that game? Yeah, um, definitely this week. Uh, we've got no, no game this weekend, so we'll definitely be ramping it up uh, you know, this week and then leading into next week as well. So, uh, you know, make sure we're, we're ready to go around one. How much have you enjoyed pre season this year? Yeah, it's been. Um, it's been really good. Um, uh, it's been challenging. Had a had a little calf tear um, early on in the, in the in the you know coming back to training and um, and had the twins uh, um, had my twins uh, you know about the third week. So uh, yeah, it was been it's been challenging, but it's been good. Haven't had a preseason in a long time, um, so it's just been good to get a little bit of running under the belt. You mentioned the twins there. How's uh, how's father going? Yeah, it's all good. Uh, their uh, their characters so um, now they're beautiful and, and we're very blessed to um, you know be able to have twins and, and you know have one baby alone too so uh, we're very lucky and uh, we're just taking it day by day and trying to mix that in with fatigue from pre-season is that uh, taking its toll yeah it's um you know i got a, i'm lucky i got a really good um you know fiance and kai and she does most of the stuff um you know when it comes to the babies and i'm really lucky and when it comes to that kind of aspect so uh you know trying to get as much sleep as i can uh and that's the key at the moment <laughs> yeah. and uh, just away from both of the rugby announced our australian the last couple of days sonny bill williams is is retired from both codes at the rugby someone you you play with at, at the wolf pack how much admiration do you have for him yeah, obviously, um, you know, he's done everything, um, everything possible in both codes and, uh, you know, he's had an had awesome, um, awesome career and um, he's, he's one of those characters you just want to be around and he thrives off any, um, you know, any circumstances and he's, uh, you know, I'm sure in boxing uh, or whatever he does, um, you know, whether it's television or whatnot, um, he, he, he always puts his best foot forward, so, uh, you know, can't wait to see him uh, see him fight and can't wait to do some sparring with And given where, what he'd achieved in his career when he came to the Wolf Pack and yeah, everything else, the, the standards he still had for himself that he set for everyone else, was that, that some impressed you? Yeah, obviously, um, yeah, very impressive. Um, you know, he was just somebody you wanted to be around. Um, me and him were just hip, hip, hip to hip, um, travelling to training <laughs> together every day and um, you know, he's one of those people that you just want to, you just want to be around because he brings the best out of you and uh, he challenges you as well. So. Um, He's definitely somebody that you know I still keep in contact with, and and uh, you know you just want to be around because they're such a positive influence in your life.